What's up, everybody? This is Robin Williams. I just want to shoot a um, a video about actually opening up your world, opening up your world to receive more abundance. And what do I mean by this? Um, many times, many of us, to include myself, um, we ask for certain things. We ask for certain things like promotions. We ask for certain things like more money, more wealth, more, you know, better health. We ask for these things, but we ask for the opposite in an even greater and stronger emotion than we ask for the things that we want. So what do I mean by this? Like I might say, yeah, you know, um, I want this uh, promotion at my job, at my company or whatever to the manager level. And I'm, you know, I want that, you know. And then we'll go out with our buddies at work and be like, well, you know, I don't think I'm I'm qualified really. You know, I heard uh Jessica from down the street, I heard she was she was applying. And you know that girl, man, she she badass, you know what I mean? So I don't I don't I don't know. Whatever. I'll try next year. Maybe somebody will leave, whatever. And maybe somebody will leave, but this is not the type of language you should be speaking on. You should actually already know that that promotion or that position that you want is already yours, is already there. When you start speaking the language of success, you start receiving success. So maybe maybe the next time you say you want something in life, whatever it is, it could be relationships, it could be money, it could be physical health, it could be um, uh, an adventurous lifestyle, it could be whatever you want. This applies for everything in your life. The next time you consciously state that you want something, that there's there's that desire that you want it, make sure that you continue to speak it into it to existence and not the opposite. You know, don't doubt yourself. Know that you are great. Know that you deserve whatever it is that you desire. So basically, I'm just going to take you through one more little example. Um, let's just say I want... Um, uh, more abundance, you know, I'm not literally going to say, yeah, you know, be nice to have that lifestyle, right? And then I'm going to tell my child or my wife or my husband or whoever you have in your life, um, you know, those houses we were looking at last, last week. Yeah. I, I think they're too expensive. I really, really like them, but you know, I, I think, I think it's above our, our pay, whatever. And it may be above your pay right then and there, but speaking it that way is not going to get you in that house. Knowing that you're already going to be in that house, knowing that that house is yours, speaking it into existence, starting to shop for the things inside your house. That's what's going to get you put inside your house. If not put inside your house, maybe something even better. You know, you never know what can happen. You don't know the power of this universe because anything can happen. The The house could be offered for a lower price the following week. You know, you could be offered to to put down less of a down payment to get into the house. You don't know what can happen in the future if you just keep your eyes open on what you desire and keep speaking the positivity um, on that thing that you desire. So many times, me personally, I kind of wonder how much did I block in my life? How much, how many things did I desire in my life? And then have this negative thought. How many things did I actually block? Even when we bought our, our uh, first home, it was really weird because it seemed so magical. And this is how, this is why, one of the reasons why I try to get people to actually practice it consciously practice doing this because you'll notice things that you really don't think you would have noticed if you weren't aware and conscious so what i mean by this is like when we bought our first home we were searching for a house after house we seen a, a couple houses that we really like or that we thought we were, we really like especially me i will be the one to be like this is it this is the house yes you know and something will fall out you know something will fall apart the person would actually uh, maybe give the house to somebody else who who bid it on it, or 
maybe it didn't pass an inspection or we didn't think it would pass an, an inspection that we needed it to pass. And it just seemed like, okay, you know, whatever. And then our, the credit was, was not where it was supposed to be. It was just like, I don't know this credit, you know, but I'm going to work on it. You know, I'm working on my credit as I'm actually looking for the house. You know, you know what I mean? So I'm doing all these things. And a part of me is saying, I don't know if I could be able to afford this house. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with this house. I don't know if I'm going to get approved. That was a big one for me. I don't know if I'm going to get approved for this house. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the positivity in me, I had to just keep building and building and building and building and building up the positivity to where it outweighs the negative things. I mean, it's okay to have a little negativity, but it's not okay to stay down there. But when you start increasing your thoughts and increasing, um, you know, the positive emotions about what you want to get, you start seeing it flow into your into your um, into your life. So back to the house. I'm going through the house. I talked to the um, I think it was like a mortgage broker or something. I'm not even sure who the heck it was that helped me uh, get the house. But uh, I was talking to him and he was telling me something that was fairly negative or whatever. And I was just kind of like, man, you know whatever in a couple months maybe maybe I'll be able to get into the house or whatever and then uh maybe not even a week later or something he called me but the crazy part is when he called me for the approval for the house saying approval for the loan I was on my phone I was standing in my living room and this doesn't happen every day that's why I know it was you know the universe God whoever you want to call it I know it was intentionally for me so, as he was telling me that it was approved, I had about three or four beautiful blue jays. Is that blue jays? Yeah, blue jays fly up to the window. And this is not something I see every day. Every now and then I'll see a blue jay flying around. Now, you know, you look and be like, oh, a blue jay, because you've you never seen it really. But every now and then you'll see some. But this particular time, as I'm talking to him on his phone, I'm walking in the, in the living room, I'm excited, I'm looking out the window, and it's almost as if, like, this moment was made especially for me. That made, It was made for me, for me to know that it was possible. So all of that, I kind of wonder, if I had went and had a negative aspect, one, I probably wouldn't be in that house now. Well, I'm not right now at this moment. But either way, I probably w wouldn't have uh, bought that house. Uh, two... I wouldn't have the privilege to see how you can actually align your positive thinking up to the things that you desire and get what you want and know that it's made especially for you that you are deserving of it and that pretty much you can do that for anything in your life. I had so many magical things that happened to me and I'm telling you guys, if you listen to these things, if you if you actually practice it or whatever... And uh, consciously be aware of it. I promise you, you will not <laughs> be disappointed. Actually, try it anyway. This is an eight-minute video. I haven't shot this long of a video in a long time. But I hope it was valuable to you all. And I'm going to uh, shut it down so I can post it so you can see it. And I'll catch you on the top. Uh, pretty much leave a comment if you want to at the bottom of this video. And I'll, um, I'll um, pretty much appreciate it. Peace.